So Donald Trump won the 2024 election. And you know what that means? We got to react to liberal meltdowns. So someone already made a compilation of these liberal meltdowns, mainly from TikTok. So I'm going to react to it. Maybe we finally get a new face for the meltdown because we all know that that one lady with the blue jacket wearing glasses, the one where she says no for like five to ten seconds. Maybe we get a new face after this. Who knows? But regardless, let's take a look. I'm sorry. No, no. Oh, no, man. No. Maybe it's her. That's crazy. Why? 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 <laughs> why? 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 Do you really hate me that bad? Bruh. <laughs> This is this is crazy. I mean, you gotta admit, so this is good the content. Election between okay, Trump I gotta say, I hate this Harris dude. Has not I hate this guy. He's such a show for the Democrats. The is, but it is pointing in one direction, and it's not final. But I just wanted to say that. I mean, it seems like America it's final. Failed women tonight, primarily. Trump has insulted women, berated them, has been found liable in court for assaulting a woman. In January 6th. And he took women's reproductive rights. about that. And instead of standing up to that, people voted for it. And um, I legit thought he was going to lose because of that. But we won. failed our daughters, our mothers, our sisters, our wives tonight. America failed them. We failed them. Bro, it's such a show. It is unfortunately the reality of the situation. Um... So I'm sorry to everybody out there who will be impacted by what may come. Y'all want to violate my stuff? I don't give a f about none of that. Because all, all the people that violate too. my freaking live right now are Ooh. Trump supporters. Y'all are the only ones happy about this shit right now. Y'all are the only ones. Y'all see I got my blue on. I done cried so much that my blue went up. And I have to wear red because it's my freaking job. <laughs> if I didn't have to wear this That's stupid ass wondering. color, I wouldn't be wearing it. Trust and believe me. Trust and believe me. I hate red so much in my Right now, I don't even know what to do. I've never hated red so much in my life until now. No, I don't blame her. I that. hate red. Hate the fact that I have to wear this color today. I really do. Because I don't represent Trump at all. Go Trump. Honey, you going to say, we, we'll see if you still scream go Trump in the next few months. Let's see. I don't know. We'll man. see. Oh, y'all say go Trump. We'll see if y'all still screaming at. We'll see. Because I, I know. What, what is she won't. insinuating? Because that man about to walk up in that White House. And he about to tear shit up. He about to tear shit up. It's about to be so much police brutality. It's about to be so many black men being pulled over yeah, and gunned yeah, down for no freaking reason. Immunity. It's supposed to be cops? so much unnecessary white racism. And guess what? It's just gonna get looked. It's gonna get looked past. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing about it. It's gonna get looked past with him in office. Oh, white privilege is gonna be so high right now, and it's so sad. It's so sad. Y'all really voted for a man to control our pussy. Y'all really voted for a man that want to make sure your ass can't never get an abortion. Y'all voted for a man so if you get you will not, you will have to keep that baby. To be fair, like most of these meltdowns aren't that bad except for that Y'all voted one. for a man who's going to keep track of every miscarriage and pregnancy that goes, that happens. A man controlling our pussies. A man. A man. Who don't even carry kids, don't even know shit about carrying kids. Y'all letting him control our bodies. I'm a lesbian, I don't have those issues with abortion and all of that. But I know for a fact people get on a daily basis. And for them to, force, to be forced to carry kids, it's sick. It's sick. It's very sick. I'm not responding to any of y'all. <laughs> Cause y'all don't get under my skin. If you're not for Kamala, I don't give a f about y'all. It is what it is. And if you're saying MAGA, you're a f***ing maggot. You're a maggot. So you're a maggot. If you're saying MAGA, you're a maggot. That's what I'm gonna look at. Cause you There's put no MAGA on it, you're a maggot. If 
you want me to oh here we go content about how i moved to portugal let me know people lied to, like people lied about who they voted for the energy did not match the results and people said that they were voting for one person and then they voted for another america was not ready for a female black president and that is mm. what i was worried about because the country is full of racist misogynists men and women how did this happen that's literally my thoughts i legit like thought kamala's gonna win completely oh man not the dog not the dog i don't know i don't know what that says but i'm tired so i'm gonna go to bed because it's past my bedtime right, but i'm telling y'all right now if i wake up tomorrow and anybody besides auntie madam Vice President Kamala Harris is president tomorrow. I'm gonna crash out. I'm crashing oh, out because the last I don't know time why I went the to person made this compilation did it like this. Hands, I thought I was gonna wake up to Hillary Clinton being president, and I'm not saying that I wanted her to be president, but I wanted her more than Donald Trump. Okay, but I can't take that kind of stress. Crying in the back. My anxiety is too high. I can't handle that. Last time I woke up at three in the morning thinking I was having nightmares because they announced that Donald J. Trump was the president of the country. Y'all better not. If I'm I'm leaving the country in y'all hands while I go to bed. I'm tired. I'm old. I can't stay up late. I got work in the morning. If y'all piss me off tomorrow. Ooh, I want to see his response today. If y'all piss me off. I want to see what you got to say now. I hate to be the person that gets on here and cries, but this could sp this could break me and my parents apart because they just don't understand what they voted for. Oh, and so like, her verse vote for Trump? And wow. The bigotry and hatred that they stand behind, and how I like am trying to be a good person. I'm not Catholic like they are, which is ironic because. Because it's like religion supposed to make you love. But I could see it like breaking me and my parents apart because they just Dang. don't get it. And they don't get that they voted for <laughs> someone who's going to make my friends' lives hell. <laughs> my life's okay. I'm a white woman, but my friends are Why not you got to say it like that? <laughs> anyone else helping a meltdown i don't know how to do this i don't know how to wait i'm oh, so stressed how you can't look out into the world into the people of this country and see what's happening and how hard we're all fighting for rights not to be taken away from people i go from hysterically crying one minute over the pain of this situation and then hysterically crying the next minute watching so many I can't be the only one noticing the tattoos. and women from around the world supporting us and cheering us on i am 48 years old and i have never wow. experienced anything like this and never thought i would in this country it's like it's like i can feel the pain and the fear from every single I mean, person. That that I don't know how honest. to handle this. I don't know how to get through the only one, like, that was real funny the first I, one. Who knows how long this is going to take. So it's almost 2 a.m. Pacific time, which means it's well after polls have closed. And I am still just genuinely confused as to what happened. So if anyone wants to offer some insight, um, I'm happy to fucking take it. <laughs> I just also think that maybe what I've noticed is that men are just genuinely not as concerned as women and don't quite take our concerns as seriously and I don't know that fucking sucks because I met a lot of women tonight who are just genuinely so fucking scared. Um. So yeah, let me let me know. I guess. I mean, this is not a meltdown. 
is now our 47th oh, here we go. president of the United States of America. First white guy we've seen. The election was not even close, which I find odd considering Kamala Harris's rallies. However, how can that compete when you have Elon Musk paying a million dollars per day to encourage people to vote for Donald Trump? Right, Personally, so I'm disgusted by that. I'm disgusted enough to delete my ex account. I'm disgusted enough to never order a Tesla as long as I shall live. I hear Tesla's I overrated. I want to take this but... moment to congratulate those of you who voted for Donald Trump, which was the overwhelming majority of Americans. You chose to vote for a dictatorship, and that is what you will get. America is no longer the land of the free. You have chosen by siding with Donald Trump to throw our United States Constitution and our United States flag in the garbage. Personally, I am embarrassed. I am mm. ashamed, He's ashamed to call myself an American. In fact, I no longer call myself an American. What? Okay. So that was a few clips that I've seen from the liberals having a meltdown over this. Um, and for being honest, like a lot of these are meltdowns. It's just them ranting. Like the first one was a legit meltdown. I thought that was just funny right there. But overall, um, I thought they were tame for the most part. That one, that one at the beginning, like we're gonna look back at that years from now and still like laugh at it. But that was the compilation. What did you guys think? What did you guys think of this meltdown? Do you think they went too far or not? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure you give me a follow and like this comment as well.